All right, hi guys, welcome back. Um, I'm still in the Wudang Mountains, having a little wander today. Something I've done quite a lot of since I've been here. And I'm just coming around the back of a palace or a temple called Tides of Poor. Have a quick look inside and see what it's all about. Right, let's go. Look at this, by the way. Look at these rocks hanging on ropes holding the wall up. I hope so. All right, let's go. So the main deity associated with the temples and palaces at Wudang is Xuanwu or Zhenwu. It's got a few names. The Dark Warrior is known as in English. And um, he is the protector and god of these mountains. So Xuanwu is also regarded as one of the, the five main deities in Chinese folk religion, uh, that being Heidi, the Black Emperor, the God of the North, Winter, and the Colour Black, I guess. Actually, it's kind of confusing, you know, a lot of Chinese folk religion and how it mixes with other things like Buddhism and Taoism, um, it, is a, it is a bit of a complex thing, however much you read about it. So the story goes, Zhenwu or Xuanwu was a prince of the Jingle state in the time of the Yellow Emperor. That was like, well, it's a time full of legend. It was like apparently 5,000 or so years ago, but obviously old stories. And um, he decided when he was a teenager to walk away from his princely duties and come to the mountains here in Wudang to uh, try to become one with the Tao and achieve immortality. Now apparently after 42 years here, he finally did achieve immortality at a place called Tides of Poor, the Prince's Slope, which is right in front of me now.
guys that was a little look around Tides of Poor. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.